guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing another video and the video i'm going to be doing is how to grow your hair so don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell to get notified each and every post and the first thing protective hairstyles what i use i use this castor oil to keep my hair growing okay so the protective hairstyle is like when i finish washing my hair or like when i like when i take it out of like a bunch of like when i take it out when i finish doing my hair right I either I detangle it and then I put it in braids and I let it just leave it there until I finally get my hair done again or wash it. When I finish washing my hair, I just put it in a bunch of twists. And when I take it out, it's either really curly or I just take it out, protect the styles again, or wash it. When you braid it and you just put a bonnet on all day, you know, you don't have to worry about your hair, about losing your hair and shedding and all that stuff. See, my hair, I had lost some of it. I lost like a bunch of my hair. And I gave it back because after I started doing it, I kind of like... So I didn't detangle it, I didn't do anything, so I just like did it. And now I told my mom to like do it for me. My mom is starting to do it for me again because I just thought, well, but she knows how to, do. her hair is very long. So I was like, oh, maybe I can let the person who knows how to do hair and can grow hair and do my hair. So I let her do my hair for a little bit, and like I grew all my hair back. Like my buns were never this big, and they're like literally wrapped up, like they were never this big until I started to let my mom like do it. I started to let my mom do it now. So yeah, protective hairstyle is basically like when you put this castor oil or some moisturizer in it. And you just put it in braids until you finally take it out so it can like grow. It'll grow for like a good a good a good week. If you leave it in, like if you're on if I was when I was on spring break, I don't know, like when I was at Fort Pierce, I let my hair out all the way. When I came back, I lost most of my hair because I just left it out like I didn't care about it. When I came back, I did most of it, and I lost most of it again, and I told my mom to do it. She did it, and my hair grew back as soon as she started working on it again. She washes my hair now. She does my hair now, and I just put it in protective styles. Like, I do take a look and put it in protective styles. See, I was just in protective styles, but now I'm about to do the I did the video. I, like, do the protective style. I do protective style before I go to sleep every night if I had a bun like this. Before I'm leaving, I'm going to be leaving after this video, and when I'm going, I'm going to put it into two French braids. And then later on when I come back, I'm putting it in cornrows. Like, I'm going to pin them in the back, and, like, tomorrow when I go to church, I'm going to, like, tie it with the, what's it called, the... When you like, you can tie it and then you roll it and make a rolls right here, a roll right here. Yeah, and do like the edges and stuff like that. That's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Keeping my hair in a protective style. And for school, you know, on every Sundays, my mom does my hair for like two weeks and it's already ready. So when my hair was in, I took it out yesterday actually. My hair was in like in that hairstyle. I grew most of my hair back and I was looking because like, when I was comb combing it, it like got so long and I could like shake it. It's like to right here and it's like so long now. It's not this long, but it's like it's long to the point where like it reached right here now to my right here and like my back like like to my second vertebrae. I don't know. But yeah. So yeah, that's how my hair grew. And I keep it in protective styles. So you guys should keep your hair in protective styles too. Oil in hair. So like this castor oil, you can use castor oil or you can use olive oil. I mostly use castor and and olive oil because like most of the time when I am putting it in roots like when I'm trying to moisturize my hair I either like I put one in the middle and I just put a bunch of oil going down because in your roots is where your hair grows so when I like put it like when I'm how did I say that parting my hair I always put that oil in there so I can keep growing because this you're supposed to put most of it in your roots you're supposed to put the oil in most of your roots to keep your hair and your product like to keep your hair safe and put it in protective styles like i said you put a bunch you can you don't have to put a bunch like this it doesn't really i mean it smells kind of good but it smells like pomade like literally it smells like pomade it's a hair and scalp conditioner but yeah when you put these in like in your hair like like it's in here i just put a bunch right here and like it grows like it literally like grows and once it grows and you can tell your hair grew especially when you put it in braids or twists you can see how loose it gets when it gets very loose that means you grew some of your hair or when you dye it like i want to dye my hair so i can see if my hair actually grows when i dye it when i bleach it or dye it and then if like some black person is growing like that's what i like like i want my hair to grow more 
because that's a safe and protective style like these always put the castor oil and like oil like these in your roots like you can like dig it in like those things i had it where you like take it and then you like drip it in and like and you just put it in there and you have to go in africa they have this product where you just grow your hair in like one minute and you're done like in a month you already wear your hair like to this long in africa they have it so i want to use it to keep my hair grow but i don't know if it smells good because Boy, they be making sure they are all this stuff and stuff, stuff like that. So, yeah, I want to get that product. I want to order it, but I think it's expensive. So, I don't know if I can order it. I always put oil, like castor oil, this oil. Olive oil and castor oil is the ones that are better for you. And coconut oil. Coconut oil helps with your hair, too. Always put that coconut oil in your hair. Moisturize. Always moisturize your hair. Like, moisturize your hair. You can keep your hair soft. Like, my hair is not soft right now because I am washing it tomorrow. This is not soft, but so this one is a oil moisturizer and oil, hair lotion with castor oil, blow drying, conditioning, and grooming. It's maximum strength four ounces more, four ounces more. So this one is one that makes your hair soft and easy for you to detangle it. This one too, the Cantu She Butter Moisturizing. Moisturizing, this is also twist and lock gel. So when you twist it and it and you lock like I don't have I don't want to see. Like when you twist it, it gets hard. When you twist your hair and you add it to your hair, it gets really hard and like stays. Like it says can't you moisturize you then moisturize the frizzes and adds manageability to hair relieving soft, shiny twists and locks. Made with pure she butter cancer restores your real uh authentic beauty embrace your curly coily or wavy hair with cantu see this one i like this one a lot because it's soft it makes your hair small both of these make your hair soft and it makes it easily for you to detangle your hair it's one of the products i love i love cantu with any but i ran a product like these are the products i'm literally using right now in gel so i ran out of products i need to go back to the hair store and get me a lot but there's this other one i want to use is blue prefer this one in your scalp like you put this one in your scalp to help it grow but these i think you can just like put them in the hair like around the hair if you want to like make it you know curly or coily my hair is actually for your c hair and this actually really does help with 4c hair all of this just makes my hair very curly like when i like want to put in curly hairstyles it makes my hair really curly when i'm putting it in twists keep it very curly and when i take it out it's really curly again so that's why i like so when i put it in twist it's gonna be really curly when i take it out that's the whole reason why i like the can too next we have wash so washing your hair is like very very important there's certain times so when you're washing your hair dang it's so windy outside okay so when you're washing your hair i would want to tell you that I'd, like when you're washing it add three or two shampoos to your hair like Add your shampoo and then rinse it out, add another shampoo, rinse it out, add another shampoo and rinse it out to make sure it's fully clean. And then you add your conditioner. You add your conditioner, like your conditioner wire inside, comb it and then wash it all out. And when you take it out, you use like one of these type of conditioners. And it really does help. Like when you're washing your hair, how, how I would tell you wash your hair? Three shampoos, comb it while you're using it, split into four sections. Comb one, 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 and then add the conditioner, and then you comb it again, and then you wash it all out. You comb it while it's washing, and then, which well, yeah, it would be easy for you to do, because most of the time, when my mom used to be washing my hair, she combs it while, while she washes my hair. So when it's time for her to do my hair, it won't hurt, because it usually really hurts. When I was young, I was like four years old, I used to cry in the bathtub while she was washing my hair, because I hated it. Like, I almost cried. I cried all the time. And she, the way that she cheered me up was just say, I'll give you a piece of candy if you stop crying. And I'll just sit quiet and hold it all in. Because I hated going in the bathtub and all the water splashing in my eyes. I just didn't like that. Once you finish doing that, comb it into sections. Comb it, comb it. And then just make it like very soft at a point where you can just use the comb. You can use a, a small tooth comb instead of a white tooth. A small tooth comb can detangle it better instead of a white tooth. So you can mostly like while it's in the shampoo too, you can be detangling it. While it's rinsing out, you can be detangling it. While it's in condition, you can be detangling it. While it's rinsing, you tangling. That's how you, I wash my hair because it's very easy for me when it's time for me to do it. And then next, it's just the products I use. So the products I use, 
the products I use, like I said, is Cantu She Butter Moisturizing Twist Lock Gel, Castor Oil for my scalp, and this, the moisturizer. And that's mostly what I use. This castor oil is very helpful. Very, very helpful. I really do enjoy using this castor oil, especially in my roots, because it really helps my roots grow and all my hair in my roots very much grow. And this oil, I don't really like the smell, but I prefer the coconut oil in my hair. But I don't care because at least it helps. It helps very, very well. So I think you guys should get this. Is if you guys you guys can find these at Walmart, the hair store, and mostly the hair store because I got this from the hair store. And then this you can get it from the hair store also or Walmart or Target, either one. Um, so this one is hair lotion, like I said. It is I just use it to make my hair curly or like when I want to put it in a bun and slick it. It really does help for that. And my mom uses these two to stick her hair. So, yeah, she uses this all the time. You can find these at Walmart. And then you have um, the Cantu, which is very much for lock gel. And, yeah, so that I lose this one when I'm doing my twists or my braids. This for, like, when I'm doing my buns, like, kind of like this. And then this is when I, when I finish washing my hair and I put it in my scalp and I do my hair. So, yeah, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.